the last video, I explained what PowerFX was, and I mentioned that it uses declarative programming. Let's unpack what that means. There are a couple of main types of programming. There's declarative, which is what PowerFX and Excel use, and there's imperative, which is what many traditional programming languages like C Sharp use. With the imperative programming, this is kind of how it works. This is like your friend following a video tutorial by Gordon Ramsay on how to cook the perfect beef wellington. Gordon is giving them the step-by-step -step directions to achieve the desired results of the perfect beef wellington. With declarative program like PowerFX and Excel use, however, it's like asking your friend to cook a beef wellington, but instead of having them follow a step-by-step -step tutorial, you don't care how they prepare it and you leave it up to them to decide. So in essence, with PowerFX, you have the advantage of being able to tell the app what you want to do without actually having to describe it and do the step-by-step -step because PowerFX does that for you. And that's what makes PowerFX very end-user friendly and easy to learn.